Hey! Everyone! In this video we will take an in-depth look at the Breville Espresso Machine. Components Accessories Features Compact footprint Manual milk texturing Thermojet technology Bid temperature control Low pressure pre-infusion Volumetric control Instant hot water Assembly Machine preparation Remove and discard all labels and packaging materials attached to your machine. Ensure you have removed all parts and accessories before discarding the packaging. Clean the drip tray, drip tray grid, portafilter, and filter baskets using warm water and a gentle dishwashing liquid. Rinse well and dry thoroughly before use. Functions First use Remove the water tank and fill it with potable water to the indicated max line. Place the water tank back firmly onto the machine. Ensure that the drip tray is firmly placed on the machine. Place a 17 FL Oz 500 milliliters container onto the portafilter and steam wand for the water drips for this first cycle. Plug the power cord into the power outlet, and the one cup button illuminates. Press the one cup button to begin the first use cycle. Standby mode. To turn off the operation and enter standby mode, press the one cup and hot water buttons for half a second simultaneously. Filling the water tank. Lift the water tank from the machine. Remove the water tank lid and add potable water to the water tank, filling to the max marking indicated. Replace the water tank onto the machine. Press down ensuring it is properly attached and sitting flush against the back of the machine. Filter Baskets Single Wall Filter Baskets Use single wall filter baskets if grinding fresh whole coffee beans. Single wall filter baskets allow you to experiment with grinding, dose and tamping to create a more balanced espresso. Dual Wall Filter Baskets Use dual wall filter baskets if using pre-ground coffee. Dual wall filter baskets regulate the pressure and help to optimize the extraction regardless of the grind, dose, tamp pressure or freshness. Inserting the portafilter. Place the portafilter underneath the group head so that the handle is aligned with the insert position. Insert the portafilter into the group head and rotate the handle towards the center until resistance is felt. Place your cups under the portafilter on the drip tray. Extraction tips. Clean and descale cycle. The Bambino Espresso machine requires regular cleaning and descaling and the machine will flag when it is expected for a clean. The two-cup button will continuously flash indicating the machine will need cleaning and descaling. Cleaning the steam wand. The steam wand should always be cleaned after texturing milk. Wipe the steam wand with a damp cloth. If any of the holes in the tip of the steam wand become blocked, it may reduce frothing performance. Manually purge the steam wand to try and clear the holes. If the steam flow is very small and the steam wand is still blocked, unscrew the steam wand tip using the steam tip cleaning tool, then use the tool to unblock the holes the cleaning tool is located in the